Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault once again. Today I am here at JSP Honda where I usually do Honda bikes uh, reviews. And today I am going to give you my review of the all new Honda Dio. It looks amazing. They have given it a whole new look. So let's go ahead and find out what the new Dio has on offer. The Honda Dio was the first motor scooter model to enter the Indian market. Back then, people stood confused as to whom the scooter was primarily targeted at. Now, with the riding culture really catching up with the mass market, people understand which set of two wheels is meant for whom. The Dio has always been youth-centric and a huge hit with the younger generation because of its funky, modern and sporty looks when compared to the other conventional unisex scooter models available in our market. Even with the likes of Yamaha Ray ZR and the sensational Aprilia SR150 coming out recently, the Dio has had its own set of followers all along for what it has always had on offer. Now Honda want to show back that love to the loyal Dio fans by introducing a really smart and sportier upgrade to the already visually inviting avatar that the Dio has always brought along with it. So what all new does this new 2017 Honda Dio has on offer? Let's find out. First of all, just like all other two-wheelers in our market, the Honda Dio also now comes with a BS4 compliant engine for the year 2017. To know what is BS4 and why is it necessary for us to use BS4 compliant engines, please follow my video link appearing on the screen currently. Secondly, the Dio also gets the AHO or always headlamp on function, which has also been made mandatory for all new vehicles by our government from this year onwards. This means the headlamp turns on the moment you start the bike and there is no light switch to turn it off. You can, however, switch between high beam and low beam with a control switch. For those who aren't aware, AHO is a safety feature that enhances your visibility to oncoming traffic in foggy and rainy conditions where the visibility is hampered to some degree. Thirdly, as you can see here, the front end of the scooter gets new design tweaks to make it look even more enticing than before. The LED position light embedded in the headlamp cowl looks amazing. Even the headlamp cluster gets a new layout now and comes neatly integrated into the front panel. It looks more bulgy and protruding now, thereby lending the scooter a beefier look up front. Overall, from front on, the scooter almost looks like one of the Autobots from the Transformer movie franchise. The all-new striking dual-tone paint schemes combined with the flashy body graphics lend the scooter a funkier, sportier and more modern look than before. The Dio now also gets a mobile charging port under the seat. It also gets a slightly wider seat to offer a more comfortable ride. Even the instrument cluster gets a new, edgy and sharper layout that looks nice and racy. Apart from this, the Dio also gets Honda's patented combi brake system with equalizer. The Honda Combi Brake with Equalizer ensures distribution of force between the front and rear wheel at the same time, which means even if you end up pressing only the rear brake, the system on board equally distributes the braking force to be applied to the front and rear wheels simultaneously, thereby resulting in faster deceleration and also offering a safe and secure braking mechanism. Next, the Dio also gets tubeless tires, which I believe was already available on the preceding model. Either ways, it's always good to have tubeless tires on board. Now looking at its design, as mentioned before, all the design elements perfectly fall into place for the new Dio. Nothing sticks out or feels odd even when you are looking at the scooter for the first time. The toughest job in this world, in my opinion, is giving a successful product a facelift without ruining the actual essence of its standard design theme that has been liked by one and all in the market already. Now this is exactly what Honda have managed to do with the Dio, so kudos to them for that. Even the tail lamp looks neatly laid out now with clear lens indicators. Overall, the new design tweaks along with a sensible paint job and perfectly complementing body graphics do end up giving the Dio a fresh new look, thereby making it now even more desirable. Looking at the engine specs, nothing has changed here with regards to the power mill. The Dio comes powered by the same 109.19cc engine, which is obviously BS4 compliant now. 
Now this puts out a max power of 8 bhp at 7000 rpm and 8.91 newton meters of max torque at 5500 rpm. Now taking the scooter out for a spin, there is no major difference in the way it rides when compared to the preceding model. This new 2017 model is just as smooth, offering a more instant pickup when compared to its rival the Yamaha Razy R. I won't be comparing the scooter with the SR150 because that sits a notch higher and belongs to the 150cc scooter category. The floorboard here is nice and flat. The carved out knee recesses do offer adequate legroom for taller riders. The seat is nice and comfortable. The engine is refined and responsive which is what we expect from a Honda. The braking system works just fine and is further aided by the combi brake system as I mentioned before in this video. I do however feel Honda could have offered a front disc as an option. The suspension setup still continues to remain on the harder side. It isn't very bothersome though, the scooter does offer a reasonably comfortable ride on our city road conditions, but I believe Honda could have tried offering telescopic forks up front to further better the proposition. Also we still continue to get 10 inch wheels though I would have loved to see at least 12 inch wheels being offered to further enhance the handling characteristics of the scooter. The Dio also gets a maintenance free battery and a viscous air filter. A viscous paper filter is low on maintenance and doesn't require cleaning at frequent intervals like a conventional air filter. Now this scooter also comes equipped with Honda's patented HET or Honda Eco technology. Now this results in reduced friction by offset crank, significant weight reduction of reciprocating parts, low tension piston ring and improved bearing oil seal. It also offers improved combustion with highly ignitable nickel spark plug and optimized inlet port. Also by optimizing the pulley converter ratio and driving force, the overall mileage is increased without having to compromise on the power. Now taking a look at other noteworthy specs, under seat storage is 18 liters which is decent enough for a scooter and would always come in handy to store stuff on the go. Ground clearance is 158 mm which is very decent and we need not worry about the bottom scraping while riding over speed breakers. Seat height is 765 mm which is again very convenient for men as well as women of all sizes. Fuel tank capacity is 5.3 liters which is again acceptable for a scooter because it is basically used within city limits. Now these are the other color variants made available for the Dio currently. The mileage claim is around 60 kmpl for the Dio but anything over 50 kmpl should be acceptable from the scooter in city conditions. Price X showroom Hyderabad for the new 2017 Honda Dio is Rs 51,445. Well that's pretty much it for now, I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time this is Dino saying ciao, take care, God bless and ride safe.